this is the most stressful intro to a video I bet you've ever seen. It's because I've just been wrestling with my camera for the past five minutes. That's how long it's been since I've filmed a second channel video. I forgot to use how this... I forgot to... I forgot how to use this camera. Whoa, I forgot where the record button was. I forgot all of it, girl. Anyway, hi. Today I'm getting ready and we're chatting. Oh, and I've got a really echoey living room. Do you like this setup, by the way? I'm not gonna lie, I did vacuum just this little square of my house <laughs> before I started filming, just in case you could see the floor. You can't, so that's a bit of time I'm never getting back, am I? Yeah, tonight I'm going to a social event. It's for Kate Elizabeth's birthday, so I'm really excited. I haven't seen Kate in so long. She's another YouTuber, by the way. If you haven't seen her videos, you should. She's sick. So. I am gonna push my hair back. Have I even said what this video is? It's a chat you get ready with me. Anyway, I'm gonna push my little fuzzbit back with fox ears. Fox ears! If you don't know who Fuzzbert is, let me just introduce you to Fuzzbert. To be honest, he's having quite a good day today. This is a first. So it's these like sticky up little hairs. I call him Fuzzbert because <laughs> he's always so fuzzy and he always sticks up. But today he's really well behaved. They grow up so fast. So the primer I'm using, I feel like I'm in 2016, right? Steal a one step. This reminds me of Anastasia Kings North because I remember watching one of her videos back when she was Floral Princess and she was using this. So this always reminds me of Anastasia. Anna, if you're watching this video, she's not. She's got better things to be doing but love you girl <laughs> ah right who put that there sorry this is my mirror uh, have you seen how fingerprinty that is oh bugger before i do my foundation i actually <laughs> i need to shave my mole hairs this is one thing that probably did not need to be on youtube but i have a mole here and it has two hairs growing out of it at all times and i have to shave it all the time come here you Anyway, regular scheduled programming. Okay, so what should we chat about? Has anyone got all, got all they want to talk about? I know that's kind of my job. Okay, first topic, first thing I'm starting with. Yes, I have seen the true crime commentary video that that guy made, Pinely. If you don't know, Pinely is a commentary YouTuber. I've actually followed him for years, but never watched his videos before, just because we've got mutual friends and stuff. And then the other day, I saw that he did a video on true crime YouTube, like criticizing it, kind of. Constru well, mm, no, it's not constructive, is it? Oh, I put too much on my forehead. We're in too deep. We're going cake face today, girls. I really try not to do like thick foundation. Sorry, I was actually talking about something. The true crime uh, commentary guy. Yeah, it was called like the <gasps> broken morality of true crime YouTube. And I remember seeing it in my recommended and like poo in my pants. Oh my God, I sharted for the first time the other day, you know. I've never done it before in my life. I always thought it was a myth, but no, I did it. Anyway, yeah, I saw this video in my recommended and I was like, oh God, here we go. He's gonna be bitching about me. He actually didn't. He didn't mention me by name at all. I think I was only featured in it once, like a little clip of me talking. The thing that he was more talking about was kind of like the makeup and mukbang side of true crime, which is not my domain, so I'm fine. A lot of people were asking for my opinion on that video and I genuinely agree with a lot of what he said to be honest but do you want to know the actual funniest part of this whole story so i'd never met pinely before in my life like this is gonna sound bad but i'd never really like paid attention to it like i didn't really know what kind of videos he did or anything like that so this was my first impression of him this true crime commentary video so i think i watched it on like christmas eve and then on new year's eve i was at my friend's new year's eve party i turned around who's there Finally, finally right there in front of my face and I, I nearly sharted again, bro. And then we said hi and it was okay. Genuinely, he seems like a cool guy to be fair. So yeah, I wasn't offended by the video. I agreed with a lot of what he said. He was kind of just more talking about like actual disrespectful things when it comes to true crime YouTube. So whatever his opinion is, go for it, girl. Oh, my cheeks are going really red. Sounded really Yorkshire then, didn't it? I'm actually really upset that I'm losing my Yorkshire accent, to be honest. It's one of the things that I actually like about myself. No, I'm not gonna say that. Positive self-talk in 2022. It used to be one of my favorite features of myself, but now it is gone. Well, actually not, not really. It's just kind of like hard to find. It's buried underneath a new Southern accent that I would like to peel off like an ugly bandage. Oh, I love learning TikTok dancers as well at the moment. I've learned like two in the past, well, since the new year. And it's the 4th of January when I'm filming. This. Like, call me Addison Ray. Actually, ducks. That's not my name. Not my name. I won't answer to it. I won't. It keeps getting darker in here, doesn't it? What's that like? Why does that make my face look so pale? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> what else did I want to talk about? Where's my phone? So. Sorry, have you been able to see my face at all during this video? Me asking you that, like I'm, <laughs> like I'm actually sat here waiting for an answer and you're not giving me it. Come on. 
What's been going on in my life recently? Well, it's been Christmas, so not a lot. A lot of binge watching Netflix. Oh my God, okay, so I did finish all three seasons of You. I definitely need to go to therapy. Like, I'm not even doubting that I need therapy. Why am I so attracted to that man? Should I be saying this on YouTube when I'm a true crime YouTuber? I actually don't think it's against the rules to like Joe Goldberg, is it? He's not real. He didn't actually like hurt real people. Do you think I could get canceled from this? I'm just going to do a little bit of nose contour because I think I'm Madison Beer. Honestly, this thing, thank you to her for like telling all the girls about this because the girls were hungry for it and we didn't even know we knew, knew, we didn't even know we needed it, is what I was trying to say. Why do I do that with my words so often, by the way? I actually think they should look at my brain when I die and like just figure out what the hell was going on the whole time. I've started doing this thing where my voice goes up at the end when I'm laughing. Did you just hear it there? Who's done the whole time? I actually give myself the ick so bad these days. Do you want to know what gives me the ick really? Really, really bad about myself the other day and I'm so sorry because I know so many of you are gonna have a problem with this. Youngblood was my second uh, most listened to artist on Spotify rap last year. And I'm sorry, I know so many of you like him, but Jesus Christ, I had my young blood phase, yeah? And now he just reminds me of like my emo phase in school, which was cool at the time, but I don't want to be there anymore. It's a dark phase in my life and I want to be out and in the clear. Oh my God, camera's dying, what are you doing? Get here. Let's go put your battery in. Yeah, right, huns, I'm back. What were we talking about though? Cause I've completely forgot. The allure with young blood that was once there has now gone. And it's been replaced with The Weeknd, mate. I'm obsessed with The Weeknd. I actually, hi, The Weeknd. If you're watching this, hiya. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Weekend. <laughs> Not funny. I do the worst dad jokes as well. And that's one thing I can't wait to put on my second channel more. I, Cause I feel like I'm a completely different woman compared to last year. 2021 was like the most transformational time of my whole entire life. And so I feel like now that I'm picking back up my second channel, I feel like I'm kind of reintroducing myself to you. When I do my nose highlighter, I need to stop talking cause my, my, my nose, my nose moves when I talk. But I do make a little uh, exclamation mark down there and then a little dot on the end. This is the secret to like all my hotness. It makes it go like that. Well, I mean, it makes it look like it goes like that, but obviously it's not a nose job, is it, at the end of the day? <laughs> oh, I need a makeup palette. Oh, standing up, that's like the least favorite part of the day. These joggers are so big for me, bro. I have to walk around like this the whole time because they're from when I was on locked in. Do you want to see how big these are for me? <laughs> So, with my eyes, I've started doing this new thing, yeah? I don't know why I think I'm Ariana Grande, but I actually stole my inspiration from her. She had this, like, very subtle cut crease. I mean, she wears it quite a lot. You probably know the makeup look I'm talking about. But she does all just, like, nude cut crease kind of looks with her winged eyeliner now. And I was like, mm -hmm, stealing it, stealing it. Ariana Grande and Emma Chamberlain, queens of the whole entire universe, and I won't be told otherwise. I literally copy everything those two women do. So I've put, like, brown in my crease. Really not much at all. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of a concealer. Concealer. Oh my god, do you want like, do you wanna come in? Get here, come here. And I do like a little, whoa, there's a little fluffer on you. Well, I act like I haven't just had my brushes on the floor. So I put my concealer on like a little packed brush. <laughs> And then I like kind of make a bit of a cre 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 crease, a cut crease with it. <gasps> I've never realised this song says all the good looking women sing along. <laughs> I don't condone that, but that was hilarious. Okay, so once I've pretty much like filled in both of my little cut creasey bits, I just go over with my finger and like pad it all down. 2016 beauty YouTube made us think that using your hands to do your makeup was illegal. Girl, the, the easiest and most free tool at your disposal. Use your fingers. Use your fingers. Something went wrong up here and I don't know what to do. <gasps> So the next thing I'm gonna do, this is, I don't wanna tell you what palette this is, but it's the only one I've got in London because I didn't bring any eyeshadow palettes with me. It is, it's his palette, but we're gonna use it because most of us already have it, don't we? Most of us already have it. I mix this bit and this bit. This one's a little bit shimmy. Shimmies as well, oh my God. So I'm basically like setting the concealer with something that's a similar color. It's just like a bit shimmies. A bit shimmies. Considering I started YouTube as a makeup YouTuber, I don't know what went wrong. I need to make it a bit more like skin colored. It's very white right now. 
right now. Maybe blush? You might be onto something here, bitch. This is a really, really old blush from Colourpop that you won't be able to get anymore, so I'm not even gonna break your heart and tell you what it is. It was from like the Bretman Rock collection years and years and years ago. I actually bought the collection to demo on my YouTube channel. That's how old it was. I was still doing makeup back in the day. So this is definitely expired and I'm just putting it all over my eyes. <laughs> Sorry, am I turning my eyes pink? This was not the original plan. What happened to the original plot of the movie? Okay, gonna have to try and fix. Oh, and I get so many comments and messages like, why did you stop doing makeup, girl? Why did I start doing makeup? <laughs> Sorry, I, I've been sat on my knees this whole video so that I would be in the frame. My knees are starting to hurt. So can I sit here for a minute? I'm using the Colourpop Mr. Bing eyeliner from Kathleen Leitz's Colourpop collections because I adore that woman. I actually use a mixture. Ah! I actually use two eyeliners. I use this one, the Mr. Bing one, and then I use Midnight from Morphe. I kind of use them both together because this one's brown and this one's grey. So they they complement each other quite nicely, you know. It brings in the warmth and the and the cool. So I do my eye line with the eyeliner, and then I do like a wing. Oh. The eyeliner broke on me. That accent needs to stop right now. That was a 2021 thing and I'm not bringing that into 2022. So, I do a really struggly looking wing. Why did I ever zoom you out when I'm still on my eye? Once I've done a very questionable and messy wing, we then take one of these bad boys, a little cotton boot, and then I just kind of like send it. <laughs> smudge it out, girl. I don't know, we're going for like a mud mudgy smudgy look. I just kind of smudge it out as much as it'll kind of take whilst keeping the shape. Hi, sorry I'm back now. We just had like a really big emergency. There was like a fire or something. Sorry, I took a break from filming to go and make myself a drink. Is that okay? I also brought this to show you because I saw it in my fridge while I was making my drink and I was like, let me go tell my friends. I actually bought this on Kate Elizabeth's recommendation. This is called Refresh Plus. Basically, you have this after you've been drinking before you go to bed and then it's supposed to improve your hangover the next morning. So I'm gonna have one tonight and I'll report back. I'll let you know. So I've kind of done my eyes. This isn't as smudged out as I would ideally want it. For some reason I'm really struggling to smudge today. But anyway, what I do before I go in with my- go in! Oh my god that's such a beauty guru term isn't it? Before I go in with my eyeliner, before I go in with my mascara, I use my eyeliner and I just like do a line. Do you want to watch? You just watch. <laughs> happens like every time I do my makeup. Can you imagine me being like this every single day? Cause I am. I actually swear down whenever I do my makeup just normally on an evening. I'm like, mate, I'm so sick at this. I'm like Jaclyn Hill. Anyway, get some mascara on these lashes. Oh, that went in my eye. You can tell I've given up, can't you? Cause I don't even react to things anymore. I'm just like, oh, another inconvenience. What do you think the best song in the world is? POV, you're my friend and I ask stupid questions like this all the time. It's actually true, I do this all the time. Oh my god, my friend Adam, who's probably editing this video, he now edits for me. He has this one question that he always asks people whenever we go out. Adam, should I say this? I've heard him ask it like three or four times with different people. Whenever we're just out somewhere for drinks, he'll ask about the morality of incest. I know it sounds bad, but like, wait until you hit, he gives you a hypothetical situation and you've got to de decide if incest is bad in that situation or not. I know it sounds bad, it sounds bad, incest should always be bad, but wait for it, honestly. I'll save it, I'll save it and we'll talk about it in like a get ready with me or something at some point. You tell it and I can react. So the only thing I do with my brows at the moment, so I've, I've had them very freshly laminated. So they've still got a lot of like dye in them and they still look cool on their own. When they're quite fresh when I've just had them laminated. I only do brow gel. This is the Glossier Boy Brow. Boy Brow! This is the best brow gel in the world, by the way. Best brow, best brow gel in the world. When it's like more towards the end of my lamination and my brows are paler, then I do use a pencil. But like for the first couple of weeks, it's just brow gel. So I feel like this should be like the end of my makeup, but I don't like it. So I don't know what, I don't know where we go from here. Right, look at me here. Look at me here. Look at me here when I take that out. Well, these look like ears. Would you still love me if my ears were out here? Hi guys, so today's video is going to be another true crime video. I'll do me hair, shall I? I actually wasn't going to do me hair on camera, but like I'm having a good time. This is the curler I use and I get so many questions about it. It's untrue. This is literally the cheapest Remington curler I could find on Amazon. I have been rebuying this exact curler for years because they break so easy because they're like really cheap and kind of naffy but it gives me the nicest curl I've ever had. So I section my hair into three parts. This is my lowest part. I love being a beauty 
gonna give room. I'm not even gonna shy away from it. I'm enjoying this. But yeah, basically, do you really need me to, to teach you how to use a curly wand? You wrap your hair around it like that, love. You just do that over and over again, and then it, and then you'll get Ellen and Neil curls. Look at that. So it starts out like that, and then you might even notice in a lot of my videos the curls drop throughout the video. So for the first few hours that I've got them in, they'll be like dropping, and then they end up more like a beachy wave, kind of about there by the end of the day. In some videos, if I've curled my hair literally just before I've started filming then you can watch my hair dropping over time that's how I curl my hair girl that's how I curl girl but yeah I'm gonna finish curling my hair and then I'm gonna go find an outfit and then I'll bloody show you the completed look shall I okay I'm done I'm fully ready are you ready for the outfit reveal now I mean it's just a black dress you can't see me how much can you see there so it's just like a black velvet dress from Urban Outfitters I'm really not reinventing the wheel today I really like it though it's one of my new favorite dresses I got so many dresses especially from Urban Outfitters the other day I think I own literally every single one on the website now I have done a cheeky little fishnet and sock combo what does she want socks or tights both, I'm unpredictable. I went backwards and forwards in my bedroom for about half an hour before I settled on this outfit because I'm a little bit insecure on it. Because ever since I lost a lot of weight, when you lose a lot of weight and your skin was once this big and then you have to shrink down to this big, your skin also doesn't shrink back down. So I got a lot of loose skin on my arms. You've probably already seen it while I've been erking around. Right, I'm really trying to be nice to myself about them because I'm really not that self-conscious about them. I'm just thinking about what are other people thinking about them. But I was worried to wear this dress because I was like oh what are other people gonna think of my arms and then I nearly pulled my head off and threw it off my balcony because I was like girl shut the fuck up when have you ever cared what people think so here I am not caring what people think wearing my cute dress the shoes you can't see the shoes oh sorry was that my foof these are my shoes oh my foof without my foof again <laughs> without me foof again my silly foof you know what I'll do that <laughs> so much easier these are my shoes oh I didn't vacuum this corner of the room oh and this is where the Christmas tree were as well sorry these are my shoes anyway <laughs> so girls I'm off to go to the party party till the cows come home bye <laughs>